Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jarissa Rain, aka Riri, and I am a plus size model and a freelance and self-taught makeup artist in North Carolina. And I love all things 80s. Who doesn't? Um, anyways, today, um, forgive me, I did not put makeup and stuff on. I was going to do my January like, love, and loathe and actually put all the products on my face. But these are products that you have either seen me use multiple times or that I will obviously use in a future video. And excuse my hair, I'm trying to really film and knock some filming out today. So, of course y'all know I'm lazy as fuck, so I didn't do anything to my hair. Um, so anyways, I'm going to start with my likes. And I only had one like this month. My like is, it was decent, it was okay, but probably not something I'm going to repurchase. But I didn't absolutely hate or anything like that. And I'll continue to use it until it's gone, if that makes any sense. So my first and only like this month is the NARS Climax Mascara. That is what it looks like. Um, to me, it was just okay. It got a lot of hype. I do like the bristles and stuff like that on it. Um, but I feel like it's a little bit more of a drying type of, excuse my dog's toy, a drying type of formulation, and I felt like it was a little bit clumpy. I still swear by my Better Than Sex. I feel like to date, up to date, this is, that's the best, you know, mascara that I've ever used. Um, I feel like it gives me such thick, black, voluminous, you know, lashes and stuff like that, and I just, I, I love it. I've used it for many, many years, and I swear by it. This is just okay. Um, when I do put it on top of another mascara, like you guys know that I like to use a kind of separating mascara. When I use this with that, I still get the volume and stuff, but it just feels like I have to build and build and build to get, you know, I guess like a thicker voluminous lash. So I don't understand why everybody was really talking this up like it was like the holy grail of mascaras. It's just okay. I like it. It's okay. So. Next are all my loves. I have a lot of loves for this month, <laughs> um, and I'm really excited about a lot of these. And I'm gonna first talk about the product that I have been telling you guys about that just, I feel like completely has been a game changer for my skincare routine. And I mean, I, I love my skin right now. I absolutely love my skin. Um, it has been really, really just feeling super supple. I mean, you can see that I have some luminosity and I have nothing on my skin other than this product. And of course, I tone, of course, when I got out the shower. But it is the Elemis, the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. And this is what we got in, I want to say BoxyCharm. I'm pretty sure it was BoxyCharm two months ago. Guys, I absolutely love it. I love the way that it smells. I love the way that it feels. You can see I have used quite a bit. <laughs> um, it just feels amazing on the skin. And I feel like it just gives me just nice, supple, bouncy skin again. And I actually have a little bit... Not oily, I'm always going to have dry skin, I'm sure, <laughs> but it gives me just a little bit of some softness, some radiance to the skin, and a little bit of moisture to my skin, and I absolutely love how my skin looks and feels using this, and I use it every single day. I am obsessed, and I love it so much. So next up for my loves is the Way Hair Care Leave-In Conditioner. I have mentioned this in the past, but this is my third one now, and you can see this one's almost gone as well. I think especially for myself, because I do color treat, Having a really good deep conditioning treatment, you know, especially when I can kind of take on the go and I can take this to travel with and stuff is imperative for me. And then my son also has very thick curly hair, so he absolutely loves these as well. It just honestly, you guys, I cannot say enough about this. It smells incredible. Your hair feels really nice. It makes it super shiny. Um, it doesn't leave thick, heavy buildup the way that some products that I've tried will do. I just, I love it. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. And next up. You all know that I love my Jouer lip treatment, and then I love the Laneige sleeping mask, but I also I want to say this is an Allure or my Sephora Play. It is the Clarins, I'm not going to even try to say that, um, with Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil that I almost dropped. And that is what it looks like. It is what I have on my lips right now. And I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I use it, again, I've literally used it almost every single day for the month of January, and I cannot get enough of it. It feels super nice. It's not super thick or tacky or goopy feeling on the lips. Um, it has a slight, not tingly, but it kind of feels like cooling and refreshing on the lips. Obsessed. And I have been using it with my next love, and that is the Pacifica Lips Like Sugar Candied Lemon and Sugar Lip Scrub. And that is what that looks like. And you guys saw me do this in my unboxing for my Hush app um, purchase. And these two together, I'm just obsessed, absolutely obsessed over. And they're both, well, I'm pretty sure the Clarins is probably a little bit more expensive. 
but this was like six bucks. But I absolutely love it. And it smells like Lemonhead candies, which are like my favorite candies of all time. And it's super cool because it's, you can see kind of how thick and textured it is. So it really, really detoxifies and gets in there and takes all the dead skin off the lips. And then I will put, of course, my Jouet or my Laneige or this right here on top of my lips. And especially, you know, during the winter months and my skin is already dry to begin with, it has been super beneficial. So I'm obsessed. Love it so much. Next up is by an indie brand. You guys know I love and support indie brands. Like, cannot get enough of them. And again, um, if you watched my couple previous videos, I'm really trying to venture out and try a lot more indie brands this year. So if you guys can recommend any, then please let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely try to make a purchase. Um, I don't have a whole lot of money to spend on stuff, so you guys will not see me buying like a million different things. I buy things as I can, and I try things as I can, but I'm super stoked to really kind of venture out and try a lot more indie brands this year. So this one is from a company called Glitter Dust Beauty. Her name is Kia Solarzano. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, but this, actually, she sent me for Christmas, and it is scented, and it smells like a pino colada, and it's an owl, which you guys know are one of my favorite things. But I, first of all, like the way that she packages everything is absolutely stunning. Um, and then you can get your choice of your colors, your scents, the print that gets printed inside of it. Um, I love this because I have found with a lot of indie brand types of um, highlights, they can be super, super chalky or maybe not pressed in enough. And this is just absolutely stunning on the skin and it lasts all day long. And Oh my god, that coconutty pina colada smell, you guys, just like reels me back in, takes me back to Mexico, laying on the beach, enjoying, oh my gosh. Can we go back to Mexico? I need a vacation. Maybe it's just my mind telling me I need a vacation. So please definitely look her up. Again, it's Glitter Dust Beauty, and she is on Instagram, and she is also on Facebook. And you can design your own palettes with her, your own color selection, the scent that you want. And I think that's something that's super funky and cool and fresh for any kind of brand, let alone an indie brand. But I've never seen another any brand where you actually get to pick what you want your cosmetics to look like. If I tell her, hey, I want pink, blue, and green, I want it to smell like limes, and I want a mermaid in it, that's what I'm going to get from her. And she's super inexpensive. She's super, super nice. Like, quality control is, is phenomenal through her. So this has been one of my favorites. I have used it pretty much every single time that I did my makeup this month. And I will do... I'm, Hoping to do like just a full face of all my like live and look, well, not my loves, but maybe do a whole face, you know, with all these products and show you guys. But a lot of these you've actually seen on my face and we used in prior videos. So please check her out and please help support indie brands. Um, next up, you guys already know how much I love this, <laughs> but I have literally used it every single time I've done my makeup since my Ipsy bag unboxing. And it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Oh. I love this so much, like so, so much. For me to wear it that day that I did my wear test and stuff for many, many hours to go to the gym, to be sweaty, to not get itchy or anything like that, it didn't break me out, it didn't feel heavy or thick or caking on the skin at all, and it still looked absolutely seamless and beautiful and had the coverage that I'm looking for with still giving me a little slight bit of luminosity. I honestly cannot say enough about this, you guys. Like, my mother-in-law gave me hers, too, from her bag, and then I just got two of them from a friend of mine because she didn't want hers. So, um, as soon as I run out of all four of these, I will 100% be getting a full size, and this is... I'm going to go ahead and call it now. It's going to be a holy grail. It's going to be one of the best of the best of 2019 at the end of this year, for sure. Next up is something else that the very first time I put it on and wore it and took pictures in it, I have worn it almost every single time since then that I've done my makeup, and that is the Ofra Liquid Lip in the shade Miami Fever. It is an absolutely stunning terracotta orange shade, which I live for, and I cannot wait for summertime to just do very, very luminous, dewy, bronzy skin with a super light eye, and then put this on. I'm dying to try it that way, but I absolutely love this color. The Ofra liquid lipsticks are phenomenal. I've had a couple shades prior, but they they don't feel super drying. They don't flake off super easily. Like even my Kylie, I love Kylie lippies, but they break down so fast on me personally. Um, and these do not do that. And this color is bomb. It's everything I love. Okay, love. Next up 
in my love. You guys have seen me use this and talk about this as well, but I have been using the hell out of it and I will be going out of town the next month for my 40th birthday and I will be packing this with me. But this is the Rebel Rouge Labs, the Oracle palette. It is a beautiful nude based palette that I feel like is super wearable for any, please excuse what she looks like. She's been through the dust with me. Um, but you have super wearable, you know, nude and muted colors over here. And then you also have a face palette here with a highlighter and stuff like that. I will say just personal preference. I do not like the shade of the highlighter as a highlight, but if you guys have watched me at all before, you know, I don't like white highlights or icy highlights. Um, so when I do use that, I use it on my inner corners. But this is something like when I went to Charlotte a few months ago, I took this with myself and my husband when we went traveling and I literally don't have to take blush and, you know, contour, anything like that. And I also will use this deeper shade here to do my brows with sometimes. So I just absolutely love this. Um, this is another outstanding um, indie brand. I actually just became a brand ambassador for this brand and that makes me super, super excited. Um, so please check them out. She's on Instagram as well as Facebook. Her name is Mary Ann and she just makes phenomenal products and I love her packaging. Everything's very like witchcraft and, and cool and funky and earthy and then she you know talks about crystals and stuff like that. So it's a very... I like anything that the aesthetic is something different from the norm and different from the everyday. So I absolutely love this palette right here. Um, and I just, I love it. And I will put, I do have a small discount code that you guys can get if you were to check her out at rebelrouglelabs.com and I will post that down below. It's not something that I'm going to throw in your faces all the time, but for me being a teeny, teeny, tiny little person and a tiny little channel, it's super exciting to have, you know, indie brands reach out to me and I could not be more happy. So thank you, Marianne and Rebel Rouge Labs. But you guys have seen me use this a hundred million times. <laughs> And this is what I choose to travel with because it has the bronzer, the highlight, the contour, the blush, everything all together. And I don't have to carry a shit ton of stuff with me because um, y'all know I'm lazy. <laughs> Let's just put it out there. Next up in my loves, which this should have been in my best of 2018, but I had just gotten it and had only used it twice, I think. But that was enough for me to know that I absolutely fucking loved it. And it is the Urban Decay on the Run palette. First of all, the packaging is, I love it. Absolutely beautiful and stunning. Um, um, born super, to run? super heavy I'm in the an packaging. idiot and I'm um, so sorry. Again, excuse and I she looks. <laughs> um, but I'm obsessed. Absolutely love the fact that there's a ton of warm tones. You have some cool tones with your blues and your purples. You go super, super neutral with this as well. I think there are amazing transition shades in here. The formula, you guys, is absolutely incredible. The staying power is phenomenal. Um, there's one thing for me to find a pigment or an eyeshadow that has, you know, nice, deep, dark, bold pigment. But if the pigment is gone in two hours, it's still a shitty palette to me. You know, versus if something, even if I have to build up the pigment, the staying power is kind of what's more, most important to me. Is it going to stay on my lids all day long or is it going to disappear in two hours? Um, is it going to blend well? Is it going to blend well with other products, other brands of shadows and with itself? You know, is it going to blend well on top of other shades within the palette? So uh, I love it. I love this palette so much. And this has also been something that I literally, every time I do my makeup, I have been using. I will either use this or the Oracle palette or I'll mix them together because the Oracle palette gives me those beautiful kind of just, you know, soft neutrals and nudes. And then I can go in here with the bolder colors and get like a bomb ass look. I'm obsessed. My last love of the month is also something you guys have seen from me, and I'm going to try not to not blind us all, um, but is this mirror, the Beauty and the Beast mirror that I spoke about after Cyber Monday that I got from Hot Topic. I love this mirror so much. First of all, it's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful, um, and it's super, super heavy, very, very substantial, and I honestly would buy another one if I knew that they were not selling them anymore just because I love it so much. And it just, it feels nice in the hand. I like that the stem of the mirror is short enough that I don't feel like it's getting in the way of anything. And I just love it. And I can sit here and do my makeup and stuff and get up close with it. And I, I love it. I love, I love it so much. I cannot speak enough of this. And they have different ones on the Hot Topic website. Um, I'm obsessed with them. Seriously. Like, I love Hot Topic anyways. <laughs> um, now my loathes. And I'm so sorry. And I hate, I will never, ever speak negatively about a brand in its entirety because here's the deal 
Um, just like with Tarte, they're one of my favorite brands, but they have products that are hit and miss. They have products that I absolutely love, some that I hate it. Um, that's not a testament to that particular brand or the quality of things. These are simply products that happen to not work for me, for my particular skin type, things like that. But girl, girl, this billion dollar brows, universal pencil is a no, okay? Um, in my review, you could even see that it was like just dragging and tugging and like breaking off in my eyebrows. It is super, super soft, like way too soft, my personal preference, um, to use as a, you know, as a brow product. Um, also the fact that it says universal, and I don't even feel like if you were darker than myself that it would work, or if you were super, super ashy or super blonde, I don't see it working for you. Um, like I said, I did like the component and things like that, but it was a no. It was definitely way too creamy and way too soft, and I felt like I just had to keep building up and building up. When I try to spoolie it, it just took the product out. It was a hot ass mess. Um, I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, and if you love this and you've tried it, then that's amazing. Um, of course, I have sparse brows, but then my actual brow hairs are very coarse. So, yeah, um, it was a no, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> the next up, and it's a, another hell no, is the Caution um, Extreme Lash Mascara from Hourglass. The component is stunning, and I was so fucking excited to try this but it is so wet i mean that's a lot of products in there it is so wet i do not like the shape of the wand or the fact that the bristles are like super super tight together it just did not i didn't like it i don't like it at all and i tried to even build it up i used it three times and then was like let me just let it get dry out a little bit no um every time that i've tried it i have not liked it it transferred up onto my lids and stuff like that it seemed like it took forever to dry I understand this is some people's holy grail. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, and if you like any of these products, again, that is totally personal preference. Just like something that I mentioned that I love, you may absolutely hate it and that's totally fine. Um, we are all different people with different skincare needs, preferences, and things like that. So yeah, I mean, to my loathes, it's not that I feel like they're absolutely terrible products. They may be great for somebody else, but... So that is my January like, love, and loathes. Um, hopefully you guys can find some new products that you maybe want to venture out and try. And definitely check out some indie brands. You know, if you have friends on Instagram or on Facebook or wherever, or if you know people personally in your community that are indie brands, it doesn't even have to be makeup. It can be anything. Um, give them a chance. You know, if you're trying to buy a gift for your mother, your cousin, or your sister, or your whomever, buy something indie, check it out, you know, give them a little bit of, of clout and say, hey, you know, this is a good product or, you know, I, I feel like I definitely want to try to support people that are trying to live their dreams and, and make it on a bigger scale because I know how hard it is and I can't imagine how much hard work goes into creating palettes and makeup and things like that. So to so all the indie people out there, I salute you. Um, if you like this video at all, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you hit the notification bell, I'd be even more grateful and thankful. I'd love to have you be part of my beauty family and know when I upload. So I appreciate you and always remember to be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.